Hey, what's happening guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some low carb, actually zero carb keto breakfast burritos or keto breakfast tacos. Really, it's totally up to you how you end up making these. Now that said, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what tortilla I'm gonna be using to make these zero carb keto breakfast burritos and breakfast tacos. And the answer to that is actually today's sponsor, which is Egg Life and their egg white wraps. And these are absolutely incredible, not just because they have zero carbs and only 25 calories a wrap, but honestly, the first time I tried these, I was blown away that there wasn't any eggy flavor to the wrap. They taste totally neutral. They actually take on the flavor of whatever you put inside of them. Also, these wraps are incredibly pliable, so they're perfect to make burritos and tacos with, which is why I decided to make today's keto breakfast recipe using these wraps. Now, as far as where you can get the wraps, you get them at a ton of different grocery stores, but you can also get them online directly through their website. If you wanna do that, I'll leave a link in the video description below where you can go pick some of these up. There'll also be a promo code down there where you can save yourself a bit of money on the wraps as well. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the good stuff because I'm sure you're getting hungry. Make this awesome keto breakfast recipe. All right, first things first, we're gonna set our stovetop burner to medium high, start cooking our bacon since it's gonna take the longest to cook. Also, I'm gonna cook my bacon a little different than you probably usually do. I'm gonna cook mine in water, at least to start the cooking process, because this is actually a really brilliant way to have the bacon end up super crispy, but yet still super juicy. And the reason this works so well is because the water keeps the bacon from heating up too quickly and drying out as it cooks, and it also helps prevent it from burning before it gets crispy as well. Now, if you're gonna cook your bacon the way that I like to do, you wanna cook it at this temperature until the water cooks off, and then when it does, you wanna lower your burner temp to medium low and start flipping the bacon every couple of minutes until it reaches your desired doneness. Then, after it's done cooking, what I recommend doing is transferring it to a plate lined with paper towel so it can finish cooling off and continue to crisp up at the same time. Now, the next thing I wanna do is cook our zero carb breakfast sausage and yes, it is possible to find breakfast sausage with zero carbs. You might just have to look a little bit harder for it at the store. Anyway, I like to cook my links over medium heat until they brown nicely on every side of them. And then I like to get out some of my homemade zero carb maple syrup and cook the links in the syrup until it starts to caramelize on them. Then when that's looking good, I'll remove them from the pan and set them aside until I'm ready to assemble my keto breakfast burritos. Now, as you're seeing here, the last thing I'm gonna do is get my eggs together. So I'm gonna add two large eggs to a small bowl, and then to make them fluffy, I'll add a little bit of unsweetened almond milk, and then for some sweetness, I'll add a bit of my homemade keto maple syrup. Then I'll take a fork and whiskify those ingredients until the yolks have fully combined into the whites. Then when they have, I'm gonna start cooking them on low heat and a tiny bit of that bacon fat left over in the pan. Also, the best way to make scrambled eggs is to keep them moving around the pan as they cook. So you wanna have a spatula working them around in there from almost the second you add them in. Then when they're looking soft and fluffy and fully cooked, we can add them to a plate and finish prepping our sausage and bacon for our keto breakfast burritos and tacos. And all that means is we're gonna use a knife to roughly chop those up into more bite-sized pieces. Now, once we've got everything prepped and ready to go, we're gonna get out a couple of our Egg Life wraps and we're gonna start assembling our zero carb breakfast tacos and burritos. So if you decide to make tacos, I recommend just adding half of your eggs down the middle of a wrap, then adding half your sausage, and then lastly, adding some bacon. And if you've done that, then you've just made yourself a zero carb keto breakfast taco. Now, if you wanna go the burrito route, you wanna add your ingredients to the bottom half of the wrap and then fold the sides over as I'm doing here and then roll the wrap up from the bottom part where the ingredients are. And if you do that how I just did, you'll end up with a delicious looking small breakfast burrito like this. And that my friends is how to make some crazy tasty, low carb, well, zero carb, keto breakfast burritos and tacos. As always, for more info on today's keto breakfast recipe, check out the video description below. There's a ton of great info down there, as well as a link to print the recipe out and a code to save yourself some money on the Egg Life wraps. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoy the burritos, and I'll see you in the next one.